The HE221 is becoming a very popular turbo on the OM617 and Benz Force has uh, produced a number of products to facilitate the installation of the HE221, one of which is our adapter that goes from the OM617 T3 flange to the T25 flange you'll find on the, the smaller hole sets. Now our flange is a, quite a bit different than others on the market and I have a video on that on Facebook. But our flange actually drops down, it kind of mimics the, uh, the flow pattern on the exhaust manifold, but uh, also we wanted to eliminate some structural integrity concerns by having bolts go through the uh, transition and also uh, we didn't want to shift the turbo uh, forward or back. So this seemed like the, uh, the natural flow that we needed to offer. But the secondary concern now, uh, once uh, a customer has this turbo set up, uh, if they're running uh, one of our, our pumps that have been modified, uh, they're going to be running a little hot. So we strongly recommend an intercooler. Uh, but for a lot of our customers, um, getting that intercooler set up on the stock intake manifold has been problematic. A lot of people don't weld TIG. Uh, they don't have the resources, maybe geographic location. I have one customer building a, a G-Wagon in a foreign country and they're actually prohibited from modifying certain parts of the engine to comply with uh, environmental concerns. So Ben's Force has come up with a solution to that and it is our two and a half inch silicone uh, coupler adapter here. Now this will only work with the HE221 um, I'm sorry, it'll only work with the T25 whole set chassis because they're a little bit smaller. The compressor housings on the 30 and uh, above are too big and they will um, interfere with the, the silicone coupler that comes off the manifold. So let me uh, take this out and I'll show you how simple it is to, to do an install. Okay, the installation of the, uh, the coupler is very, very simple. First, of course, you've got to remove the turbo, the old coupler. Um, I went ahead and cleaned and recommend you clean the inside of your intake manifold um, where the surfaces are going to meet. Um, I also suggest that you put just a little bit of oil on the outer and the inner o-ring just to avoid them from getting scuffed. And once you do that, you can go ahead and screw this together to the point where it's snug, but this center ring is not expanding. And that will allow these, uh, these notches to protrude out. So with that, go ahead and push it in. It will be a tight fit. And now you can use, I'm using a little pry bar. Uh, you can use a screwdriver, another wrench, whatever you need. And then we have the Benz Force wrench. And the goal here is just to keep this center section from spinning, All right? And I'm also pushing into the engine with this because as I tighten it, I don't want it to work its way back out. Okay, so this is an extremely tight fit. Now, when you're turning, you gotta make sure that you don't slip these edges here. They can be sharp. Um, so, you know, you could also wear gloves. Uh, we don't wanna see anybody get injured, but uh, it is a very strong solution. This is just the Mishimoto elbow. It's a tight radius turn. And if I hold it up here, you can actually see that there's room to to actually trim a little bit, even if we wanted to. Go ahead and put this on. All right, and I did go ahead and push it all the way back to the manifold. And of course, this is uh, the view you would see in the, the product listing on the website. There is enough clearance to almost put, put my fingers through here with the HE221. And that is on the wastegate um, mount so it's a little even a little thicker so there's plenty of clearance here and of course you can angle this however you want you can also probably find different uh angle couplers if you needed to so that's the uh the new om617 uh intake adapter and if you have any questions please let us know thanks for watching